very French, huh? He is very French. Yes. Isn't he? Yes. Yes. Uh, very French. Huh? <laughs> Um, Hazur, a lot of uh, research has been carried out into biorhythms um, which affect man from within his own organism and uh, also from the, um, which, which can be affected by the, the milieu in which he lives. Um, does the Holy Quran say something about biorhythms in, uh, in man and how far do these affect life? Now, what do you mean by biorhythm? Explain this first. Mais par exemple, euh, le cycle de, de la lune, par exemple, ou alors le sommeil, il y a des, les, des différentes phases du sommeil en fonction des, des saisons, etc. Um, for example, we could say the different uh, lunar cycles and how they affect man, and uh, sleep, how it's affected by different factors. And uh, there's a kind of a bio clock inside man, which follows the seasons. Quite right. Is this mentioned in the Holy Quran? Consider where it is mentioned. Often, immediately, I can't find where, but it must have been mentioned, and I remember once that I discovered the place where it was mentioned. But it was some time ago, and I can't see in the, find immediately. But biorhythm is definitely true. And uh, according to our study of nature, of man, and also other nature, we know that the cycles of moon do affect people. For example, they say somebody lunar struck. If somebody is stricken by moon, by, by, by full moon. So that is true. There are some type of mad people who become viciously mad during the full moons. And also I have noticed barism in uh, pregnant women. Some women get pregnant when the moon is in the beginning first three days and they don't become pregnant afterwards. Some people become pregnant, become pregnant when the moon is about to be full and some when it's about to end. So I used to take special note of my patients and I discovered that biorhythm does work there. Similarly, about Silesia, I can say definitely that uh, among patients who are suffering from asthma, etc., Silesia has uh, definitely an influence over those who suffer during the early moon. And it doesn't work as much in the late period. So there are many factors of nature which one cannot fully comprehend. La yuhitua bishayn min ilmahil la umasha. That they cannot encircle anything of God, God's created nature, except only that much which they, that God does permit himself. So, about the effects of uh, atmospheric radiations, etc. They have experimented in uh, Israel that there are some patients who are indicator of weather. Much before the weather is suddenly, you know, breaks out into typhoons, etc., no electronic instrument can judge whether the weather is going to be like that in one week's time or so. But there are some patients, allergic patients and asthma patients, who suddenly show the sign of flaring up their disease. And when the disease is flared, these, these uh, researchers 
discovered that after that, after a week or so, the weather is going to be highly disturbed. So as far as biodiversity is concerned, if this is biodiversity, we know most certainly that it is definitely influ man is influenced. Again, in the Holy Quran, it says that all the stars and moons and all the universe has influence over man. And I don't remember exactly that verse, but uh, most certainly, so there too, it is mentioned that uh, radiation around and from cosmic rays from the heavens, etc. The all have influence not only upon man but upon the whole of life. So those verses can be traced and I know definitely that the Holy Quran mentions the biodisms. Hmm? Yes. So uh, this is uh, Surah Shams which is chapter number uh, 91 yes. of the Holy Quran. And if I read from the beginning, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يخشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فالهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلها من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها this one of the verses, I'll read the French translation. The sun and the moon and the stars, they all have influences over man. And there are times when he is uh, helped by these biogams to rise towards Allah. And there are times when it goes down. So this is the first translation, and I think some of it will become clear to you. Uh, in your son, predicting bad weather in a week's time or so? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, next please. So you see, there is definitely mentioned something like this. The influence of heaven on everything, sun, moon, and stars, and everything, on life below. <laughs>